All right. We are having a hell of a week this week. We are uh, actually hell of a month. So since, why don't we feed my fish? So look, we have had what I would consider an awesome month this month. Since COVID, our business wasn't shut down that long, but it wasn't it wasn't our business shut down that hurt us. It was all the other businesses shut down around us, like the county courthouses shut down, uh, certain courts, uh, the, the way you search for title reports, they were all shut. Lawyers couldn't get their job done, so we couldn't close on deals. So in July, zero dollars came in. Zero, imagine that for a month. So. Zero dollars, gonna have all these employees, all that kind of stuff. This month, we're killing it, right? So this month, we are at, so far, almost a record-breaking month, 150-something thousand dollars in what's called wholesale spreads written, and we have a couple purchases that we're trying to write too. So coming off of a bad month like that, and coming through corona, it's very encouraging, I'm very excited. I'm kind of waiting to hear from Spencer now. Spencer's my director, and I'm kind of waiting to hear from him now about um, you know, what we're gonna hit, because it's almost the end of the month, it's weekend time and I want to see what we got. So I'm kind of jacked and I'm kind of waiting for that phone call from. This year is definitely, as an entrepreneur, this year has been a lot of bad news. You know, it's been a lot of struggles and what we can't do because of all the restrictions. New York State's been really tough on restrictions. We can't do anything here, but they just, it's a big constant. But I'm, uh, I'm kind of waiting to hear right now. I, I know Spencer had a, uh, had a call with his team and I wanted to see how we, were, how we were doing. So I am looking forward to it. So it's Friday afternoon, date night, all good. Should be good stuff. So I want to finally get some good, um, information because sometimes we're always kind of saying stuff that's you know not exciting but I'm excited about having something good for a change all right here we go hey brother what's happening talk to me we're gonna break some records or what well uh, we will we definitely are going to break the record um, but I have a couple of people to talk to you about glad you're sitting down um, so reached out to me today and uh, I'll try not to bore you with all the details but essentially he had a company that he had uh, applied to previously and um, he declined their offer and accepted our offer and uh, they came back to him now and they're now offering him an 85k base um, big one big one is the medical immediately um, and uh, you know it's, it's kind of put him in a situation where Has he, is he leaving no no he's not leaving yet so look full transparency Glenn, he, he wants to be here he wants to be with our company he's openly said that um, when I, I, I told him right off the bat, like, God, he's having a hell of a month, too. He is. <sighs> this is not the news I was hoping for, brother. This is not the news I was hoping for. Shit. We have 48 hours, essentially. And I had a good conversation with him. You know, uh, you he is, he, he loves the company. He sold them what's going. The prompt, the reality is, it's the monthly burn he has right now. The monthly burn is exceeding his days. Okay. And he doesn't have health insurance with us yet. Is that? That's a big one. Basically, what it came down to is this after back and forth and talking, it's that it's health insurance immediately and it's close to 50,000 uh, base, uh, assumingly possible. I actually spent some time with and I realized that he was uh, kind of a young me, right? Just aggressive and going at it. And I, you know, I was hoping we have a good few years to build something. I was actually thinking about maybe, you know, building something more life term or lifelong around this. So. You know, you never know with, with team members that come out. You never know how long they're gonna last for. You don't think it's gonna be six weeks. He's a stud, he's a stud too. I mean, honestly, he's he's the one that drove so much business this month. He's the one with the call. Ah! It's not things I want to hear today, dude. Oh, I got this pit in my stomach, man. Shit. We just, we just got this figured out. We just got the right butts right. See, we just talked about our meeting today. We just talked about how we got the right people going. I know, I know, I know. Let me, I'm just venting, I'm just venting. I'm gonna be positive and receive. I know. Yeah, okay. You know, he's, he's given us an opportunity whether we can make it work or not. Yeah. It's, so a, it's, a, it, it's a Fortune 10, it's a Fortune 10 company, the base plus incentive. So, so it's, it's a, a so company. it's a massive operation. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially he's he's going into a role where he's guaranteed over 100k easy without sneezing. That's the problem when you have good salespeople, right? They come at you for more money. So. <laughs> what what if he is still accepting offers from other yeah that yeah that makes me yeah right this is this going to happen next month i think we have to make sure that he understands he may have to sign something that he's agreeing to stay with us for a year or something so that right. we don't have to do this you know so so think, let me ask this let, we're, we're probably burning time here do me a favor can you can you send him that comp plan and call him and do it right now because if you do it right now have that comp plan and just say listen here's what you would have made here's what you'll make next month and you know, so he understands what how much we believe. We already we already upped it behind the scenes. We just didn't tell him yet. 
we we're going to save it till August yeah. 1st, but why not tell him now and see what he says? Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Go show it to him. Let me process all this information and then let's get back on, just, just buzz me back as soon as you're done. Yeah. All right. Talk to you. Bye. Ah, oh, shit. Welcome to the emotional roller coaster. So I'm expecting to have great news. I just, that was, that was, uh, that was shitty news. There's actually young guy, uh, aggressive. Um, we've been talking about building a company, building a division around this guy and really building him up and having him build a team with us. So we've really had some in-depth discussions and, uh, that's not what I want to hear at 5.30 on a Friday. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna go tell Amber what's going on. She'll love this one. Hey. So not great news. So got another offer. It's pretty much a, a lay down for a hundred grand a year as a as a base. He's twenty four years old. He had a heart attack at twenty one years old. What? I guess he had a heart attack because so so health insurance is important to him and we normally wait, you know, ninety days before they give him health insurance and now He's kind of wanting health insurance right away, which, I, you know, I'm not opposed to that. So Spencer's talking to him right now. Oh, he is. So I'm going to wait for Spencer to call back. I hope Spencer doesn't seem desperate, though. I can't compete with a Fortune 10 company. When I write a check, it's my money. They write a check, it's just, you know, it's company money. You know, that's a, a department head going, yeah, we got budget money for that. Oh. You, and I, you and I write a check, it's our money. I disagree with that. I disagree that you can't compete with a fortune 10 because well it's yeah. it's relationship based too it's not just about money so you know if, if this is a win-win and he can be shown that you know i think he's got a lot of skills and a lot of talent i'd, I'd hate to lose him I and and obviously he he's, does if he's being recruited by a fortune 10 he's in my opinion he is he's the best sales talent we've probably ever had walk in the store he's a younger you H how far off are we from his offer you don't know I'm laughing. This is funny. So yesterday, literally yesterday, we're featured in a book that's coming out. Ken Corsini wrote a book, um, Flip Profit Like the Pros, The Best Real Estate Deals That Shaped Expert Investors. I don't know how I feel today about it, but it's exciting to be in that book and today I'm like... <laughs> Every day is a roller coaster. That's for sure. I'm going to go down. I'll, I'll give you a call and Spencer calls back. Okay. Okay. You know, he seemed like a real rock star sales guy. He is local, um, which was kind of a plus. I don't know if the company that's recruiting him is local or not, but you know, these days it doesn't seem to matter. Like with the way the world is right now, everything can be virtual. So, you know, I guess it'll just all depend on what or wants. One thing that Glenn and I have done in the last, I don't know, 13 or 14 years or whatever it's been now is roll with the punches. So that's what we'll do in this case, too. You ready? All right. Well, you got us. He seems to be very um, excited about our organization, and he does. He, he openly said he wants to be here. You know, it's just right now it's a matter of, of actual logistics. We have 48 hours, which means we have now, right? I mean, there's no sense, there's no sense dicking around with this. So I think, what's the difference if we pay him a $2,000 draw on top of his base right now? So that's more than he's asking for. Because what's his, so you're saying his base comes out to be what, 2,500 bucks? Uh, so when I figured it out, it was, hold on. So it's 2,583. So to, to get up to like 50K or $45,000 a year, it would be an extra $1,500. So I think we do 2,000 because what's the difference? He's earned it anyways. If it's a draw, what do we care? No, I, I disagree, Spencer. And this one, this is not a time to be cheap. Honestly, it's not a time to be cheap. So I, so let, let's go back to when you were hired. I remember you coming in here demanding your salary. You weren't demanding. You were very respectful about it. But it was way higher than we thought. And we, we went back and thought about it. I said, I think he's worth, I think he's worth the investment. Not knowing if you were or not, but you were. And this is a time to kind of go above and beyond too. You know, he's being courted by somebody else that's bringing him flowers. You guys are, you don't, you don't have to beat me up. I'm not disagreeing. I, 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 he, so to me, he's already kind of proven that he's really good. There's base salaries, there's commissions, there's draws. In the sales world, a draw is when you, the employer gives you money in advance, and as you earn commissions, 
that equals out. So in other words, if I were to give you a $5,000 a month draw and you earn $6,000 a month draw or $6,000 in commissions, then that month you'd have a $1,000 bonus. So, but if you earn less than that for a few months, then you could be let go. So a draw is really just a, a loan from an employer to an employee, but the employee has to cover it with their sales production. That's what a draw is. So here's a question for you, Spencer. Was it a lucky month or is he good? I, it, what, you, you see the calls, you see the grinding, you see the effort. I don't care if you're not if you're not a good salesperson it's gonna fall on you if you're gonna fall on you he's not he's not even polished yet you understand so there's certainly a lot right. of potential there so granted as he gets more polished and more content <clears throat> and everything else obviously production only goes up again the reality is what where he is shining is that he's organized he's making the phone calls he's putting the time and effort into it you know what I mean? That's that's just the reality. He's doing what the job should should be doing. Um, he's a he's a he's an example employee. So just real quick, at a twenty at a at a twenty five eighty three per month, that's thirty thirty one thousand dollars a year. To go to fifty k, right? It's an extra fifteen eighty three per month draw. That's for fifty k. Just so you guys know. This okay. Is on the same page. So do we start there, or do we just go and give him the two k? You guys tell me. So the 1500 draw would bring, or 1583 would bring him up to a 50K. Look, it's a draw. It doesn't, right. I, I say we go to the 2000, it's a draw. It's, it, nothing changes but the way he's getting it. The only, right. way we, the only way we get screwed is if he takes it for three months and doesn't cover his $2,000 nut. He did that this month. Yeah. For he, What he did this month covers him for five months. Now here's a question. Are we gonna go back and forth? Are they gonna go back and counter and counter? You know, go back and forth and say, listen, bottom line is they know, they know your potential here. Glenn and Amber believe in you and I went to, you know, I wouldn't say you went to bat for me because you didn't, you know, we didn't really have to just say, listen, it, it's a lay down for us. They will, they will, Monday morning, we'll get the insurance, turn down the insurance. The, the insurance is not the greatest insurance in the world, but it's not bad. I think we come at it from a position of um, strength too. And rather than say, you know, here's what we're willing to offer you or whatever, I would, I would say something like, you know, Glenn and Amber really believe in you and they see your potential and, you know, here's. It, it was a no-brainer for them to say, sure, let's give him a draw because he's going to out-earn that anyway. Yeah. So, so they actually went above and beyond what you asked for because they because they believe in you. Right. Yeah. So, but they but they want your commitment back. Do you feel comfortable going and having that conversation right now so he knows we're serious about it? Just, just give him more time to think about it? Well, I got I got about 10 minutes. Go. Uh, go do your thing. Well, don't don't rush that conversation, but go have that conversation and let's, and let's, let's reconvene. Okay. All right, see ya. All right, so here we are in the thick of this on a Friday night, some date night, but we need to now figure out how to keep somebody who's really good in our team on our team. The one thing about being an employer I've learned is that you have to invest in people. You have to invest in your people. He has, a, you know, this base we're discussing is really just a base because he's got a huge commission structure on top of that where the more he produces, the more he can make. And I want all of my people in that role, in the sales role, to be in the six figures, not at six figures, but. 120, 150, 180. That's I want people to. I want somebody to crack 200 grand a year. And I've had employees in the past that have done that, but they weren't the best fit long term. But I'm looking for some great people to build. So that's what we're doing now. And it's really no different. It doesn't cost us any more. The only thing that's going to cost us any more is the health insurance. And you know, for somebody that's really good and qualified, and there's not much of a learning curve, and you know, they ramp up pretty quickly and start generating income to the company. It makes it a no-brainer. All right, Spencer left two messages and a text, and we haven't heard back, so I guess we're gonna wait to see what happens now. Now comes the waiting game. <laughs> I'm a Are you a doctor? Hello, Dr. Swarm. Hi. You look a little drunk. Do I have coronavirus? Am I okay? <laughs> I'm a doctor. What kind of doctor are you? I don't know. He's been wanting to be a doctor, so I got him a doctor costume. So listen, yeah. mommy, and daddy have, mommy and daddy have to make a call, okay? We gotta make an important call. We gotta try and find out what's going on with our company. So hold on a minute, I gotta call Mr. Spencer. Hey, all right, so what's the verdict, man? Where we land, what's, what's happening? We landed that uh, he is still a part of the team. He's still part of the team? He's still a part of the team. Okay, how'd that go? Well, good, good job to you. Well, so you know what? It's not just me. Let's be clear on that. Well, I'm a person on the on the front lines there with this guy, especially. 
um, you know, this is a team thing. He said he was very appreciative that we would, we collaborated, you know, and didn't just wait for it, you know, that we, we didn't just sit on our asses and wait for it. I, I like that he stays kind of calm through these things, though, rather than being, like, way up and way down, because the people that have, like, those really high swings in their emotions are, are much more volatile. <laughs> You yeah. know, you know they, they can go down just as easily as they can go up. So that, that he took a very thoughtful approach to his decision. And... So here's what I said to him, Glenn, and because uh, we had talked earlier, and I said, listen, you know, I said Glenn might reach out to you himself directly. So he understands that when it's coming from me, it's coming from you. Like he, he gets that, but certainly as the owners of the company, you know, there's nothing wrong with solidifying that, guys. I'm, I'm a voice, and, and, and you know, I, I speak on your behalf and I do everything for you guys, but in reality still, it's your company. Yeah. You know, so I think it would, it would serve a great value for you both to reach out to him. Or we, we may we may have to rethink your position in the company, though, with that Steelers hat on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're crisis averted. We're about 18 hours later after we had our incident that started last night. That's the joys of being in business, right? You're up and down, you're up and down, and you have to learn how to navigate those up and downs. If you don't navigate those up and downs, you'll drive yourself crazy. It's like those but... little infographics you see with, you know, people think that success is like point A and then a straight line to point B, yeah. but it's like, ur, ur, ur. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's there's never a yeah. dull moment. Most people look at, you look at the Facebook life, you look at the public life, and you think to yourself, you see the successes, and you see the results of success, and you know, see us on social media and see us all. They don't realize all the all stuff the that goes on. Yeah. yeah, all that goes on behind. They don't. They have no idea of all this up and down, up and down. So you know, giving you a glimpse of what's happening yeah. in our world, you can see that it, it's literally on a daily basis, up and down, up and down. And we don't know what's going to hit us every day. But you have to be prepared as a business owner to navigate that and to enjoy the ride as best you can. And even with all those ups and downs, um, one of the things we always say in our workshops is it's not easy, but it's worth it. And I yeah. think that's that's like key for us because, you know, we're not we don't have the personalities where we just want to go ride on that hamster wheel every day and go do a nine to five job. We we thrive on this. You know, we don't necessarily thrive on the chaos. And, you know, it's, it's nice when things go more smoothly. But we it's still wouldn't trade it. it. We wouldn't part trade it. it. We wouldn't trade it for an ordinary life. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Off we go. Hey, I hear you're putting the squeeze on the old man, huh? No, I'm just kidding you. I'm totally kidding you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what, uh, what Spencer told you, but um, I wasn't coming after you guys. I know. Yeah, Amber's there too. <laughs> actually, last March, I actually had a heart attack. Yeah, he um, told me that. What the heck, dude? Where'd that come from? So, so I've been a healthy person my entire life. You know, I played soccer in college. Um, I had a viral infection, and oh, it yeah. went to my heart. And then um, my heart um, was inflamed, and because of it, it caused one of my valves to bust open. And then I had a heart attack, yeah, so... Um, it's actually it's actually starting to happen. Um, people with coronavirus, it's, yep. it's one of the things that's happening now. So they've shut down a couple of baseball players and sports players because of it. The same sort of thing that um, happened to me. So yeah, so he told me about that. I was like, you got to be kidding me. But yeah. listen, but bottom line is we we think a lot of you, and I think that I hope you know that. And we think you have a lot. No, of I, 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 I feel valued here. Yeah. But when I came when I came about to talk to Spencer about this, I directly because I respected Spencer. I didn't want to jump over oh, him oh, No, that's the way you should do it. So, no, and so I, I went... Yeah. We, we think you have I, a lot of potential. So, when I, you know, when I got that offer from somebody else, it was the only reason why it, it was a flag for me, really. Like, it was good, but whatever. I was more worried about my heart. And on, I don't know if Spencer told you, but on Wednesday, I went to the doctor. He did. I have no health insurance right now. And they smacked me with a $600 bill. And, you know... Uh, the, you know, the base salary here is not enough to cover a $600 yeah. bill. To, you know what I mean? It's just not going to work for me. So that's why I said, you know, this is kind of position I'm in. I'm in the red. I've been in the red since I joined. I knew going in that it can take some time for the money to come. But, you know, this is, you know, I, I can't. You know what I mean? So did, that was you, uh, did you like that new co the new cop plan we've been working on behind the scenes for a month? It's, it's, so <laughs> it's, it's very aggressive and good. No, I like yeah. it. Sure, that's it's great. It's awesome. So I'm yeah. excited about that for sure. Yeah. Um, it's so funny. You're you're the first person who's ever worked for me that I've never met face to face and shook your hand. Yeah. I'm very right. much of that kind of person. Now mm -hmm. I feel very connected to you because we had that conversation a few weeks ago. We talked. And, you know, I I know where you're going. Like I I see your future here, in things you don't even know yet. So I see things and I I see this right. being a big year for you. Listen, 
dude, what a month last month. What a what a what forty nine thousand spread in that one deal. Yeah, one deal. That dude, that doesn't spread. Those don't happen very often, and not in the first month of someone working here. So I got to tell you that right. that was a big you know, when when Spencer came to us last night. I'm like, ah, uh, because you know we've been, I've employed people for thirty years, right? So I'm like, and and the truth is, there are people that you see that have potential, and we literally two hours before Spencer and I have what's called a same page meeting once a week. We talk every day, right. but we have, we have a same page to make sure we're we're targeting the future. We actually start tar- talking about systems in place for our sales teams to um, know areas that they're not familiar with so we don't have to worry about geographically so we can hire more studs and the conversation was we need to we well studs studettes yeah but but we literally spencer and i said in that meeting we need to have a team of connors that connor manages like that's that's what what the conversation was and then literally two hours later he calls i'm like oh Connor. I go, I like Connor. Connor's got potential. <laughs> so, you know, there's some people like if, if, you know, some other people came to me, I'd be like, all right, right whatever. Yeah, you would have told them to kick rocks. Like, <laughs> yeah, I you know, know that's, I know. That's fine. I, I know. You know? Yeah. So. Well, no, I'm I'm thrilled that you're still with us and we'll get the insurance thing taken care of first thing Monday morning. We'll Thank get that you, taken care of. Yeah. No, yeah, you mean a lot to us. I just I, I just wanted you to know that because that's important to us to know that you know that. So, cool. Glad awesome. you're, glad you're right. part of the team, brother. Take care of that heart right. of yours, man. Yeah, really. I will. Enjoy your week at it in there. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, all right. See ya. All right. Bye. All right, bye-bye. See you, man. Bye. All right. Okay. Now, okay. that's a sigh of relief. Yeah. That's a sigh of relief. Good. He's a great guy. I'm glad he's part of the team, and this is awesome. So, one thing that's important, I think, I was thinking about my walk this morning. When you build yourself for retirement, you're building a bunch of assets. Like, you're trying to build your stock portfolio. We are building our rental portfolio. When you're building a business, your assets are your people. Your team, yeah your people. If you do not have the right assets, the right people, the best people, and we call it the right butts, right seats. If you don't do that, you'll never be as good as you can be. And so it was really important to us to salvage that relationship. We have a lot of money invested into getting here in the first place. And now we have six weeks of training involved and he's already, you know, far surpassed my expectations in month one. So I'm glad he's here. We've been in positions before where we've hired people that, um, because we liked them, but they weren't necessarily the right person for the right seat. Yeah. Connor's the right person for the right seat. Plus we, plus we like him. Yeah. So that's right. all. He that's seems that's like a all. Great guy. Yeah, right. He There's, actually reminds me of you for Glenn. So, I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means exactly, but anyway, <laughs> I better go do some push-ups. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs>